Blue, spect Blue Spectacles Beer Review is going to be taking a look at a beer from Boulevard, which um, is sold in packs of 12 by Boulevard. They have, um, they'll sell like a 12 pack of different beers and they'll include in there a couple beers that are of their Tasting Room series. This is the, their, their Oatmeal Stout, which is of their Tasting Room series. So I bought a single of this, fortunately. <clears throat> so I wasn't about to buy a bunch of 12-packs just to try those two, or these, these few Tasting Room series. It's not like, you know, I make money on these, on these beer reviews. Um... The tasting room was the was was once the only only place you could sample ta test beers of our brewers were working on for potential release. Now we are we are bringing you these fledgling brews in our sample twelve, asking for your opinion. Okay, this is their oatmeal stout, smooth, rounded, chocolatey, and roasty, polite and friendly. Boulevard is of course out of Kansas City, Missouri. This beer gets at eighty five on Brad the Bros have not have not looked at it and it is five point one ale. Five point one A B V I believe. That's what I recall. Uh, okay. Alright, well let's go ahead and try this. I've never had this before. Never had it ever and uh <coughs> Typically, beers from Boulevard are have been delicious for me. For me, they've been all pretty much delicious. Sorry about the foam in the glass left over um, by that Stella Artois. Look at that roiling, cascading head there. It's like falling. Look at it. It's like bubbles falling and wow okay <clears throat> okay that's a very thick brown head it almost looks like chocolate ice cream on the top there wow just really chocolatey looking colored head with bubbles of very of many of many different sizes, very spongy, crackling just a bit. The body, as it's starting to form, <clears throat> is black, 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 black. Possibly very, very dark brown, but I cannot see through it one bit when it's put in the light at all. Just can't see through it at all. But there's a tiny, tiny bit at the, at the bottom. I see like a tiny little brown highlight coming through. But that's it. That's really nothing at all. That's it. Okay. Ooh, that's like... For some reason, that makes, that makes me think of the cocoa nibs. Or, uh, yeah. The... This smells chocolatey, roasty. <coughs> I do pick up that oat aspect. Just the chocolate is coming through. And it smells really roasty, almost burnt. So let's go ahead and try this. I guess I'll give my opinion at the end of this review as to whether I think it should be continued or not. <clears throat> that just looks delicious. I mean, look at that beer. It looks... It just looks delicious. Look at it. It's a delicious looking beer. I'll say that much. Okay. And uh, I'll say it tastes delicious too. Really roasty malts. Almost toasted. Burnt, but not quite. You know, I was going to put this in my tulip glass, but I'm happy that I put it in this one. Because I love just how 
it looks in this in this glass as I just showed you of the top anyway the top is just beautiful <clears throat> yeah like I said really roasty chocolatey like a dark a dark chocolate flavor is coming in <clears throat> there's a bitterness that's there from chocolate and roasted malts possibly from coffee but not there's nothing true for me to really infer that could be from hops, but there's not there's there's nothing there, there's nothing there for me to infer that either. <clears throat> and there is like again that flaked oat aspect is coming through as well. The mouth feels medium, just smack dab in the middle. Um, it is dry. It's not really sticky at all um, most oatmeal stouts for me anyway have not been sticky at all whatsoever um, hmm. it is drinkable and it is refreshing so you know it's just it's a really nice stout I will say that um, should it be rolled out uh, as a regular release, yes, I think that uh, I would buy this more than their Bully Porter, more than their Smokestack Series Dark D Dark Truth Stout. Um, those two beers are some great beers, but I would buy this more. This is an, an A freaking plus. This is just so good, so delicious. Sorry, my battery's low. So good, so so delicious, and. Uh, <laughs> and I doubt that I will be able to try this again because I don't buy that sample 12 that this comes in and I'm thankful that it, that they broke that apart and put it in the single section for, for me to buy <clears throat> but um, I really hope that they do roll this out um, and put it on, out on regular release because it's just really fa fantastic Really, 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 really delicious. A plus. Um, if you know that, that this one is going to be in your sample 12, then buy it. If you see it in a single, definitely buy it. Definitely. And if they if they do roll it out and release it as a, as a, as a regular thing, definitely buy it. Because it's just delicious and awesome. Definitely worth your money and your time and your palate.